Happy holidays, guys. Um, if you're watching this, unfortunately, I'm most likely... No, nah, I'm not even going to speak that. We can't even speak that. We got to stop. I'm, I'm thankful to the Lord for life. I'm thankful for another day to be with my family. I'm thankful that I have enough family members to share this holiday with. There's a lot of people that lost people this year, 2020, COVID-19 era, Trump era. I mean, Biden era now, but um, my condolences if you lost somebody. And um, I'm about to drink with you right now. I mean, I'm sticking to my roots. You get what I'm saying? Ray and nephew over proof. Because I'm sticking to my roots. All right. Um, tap the bottle. Tap the bottle. It's all about overproof. Because I'm sticking to my roots. Pour some out. You get what I'm saying? And um, we got the Ray. And we also have the Budweiser. To chase it with, but not really chase it with. I'm going to drink it on the side. This is for you guys. I'm going to pour it right to there. Bumbleclad. Bumbleclad, yo. My boy there. Traditional Coca-Cola in the aluminum brain cancer. Too much aluminum will cause that. And we're gonna fill it up. I'm gonna just let it get a nice little Coke flavor real quick. Fill it up nice. You know, you're sitting at the bar, right? You get the rum and coke. You know, they don't even know what you're drinking. It just looked like soda, but you know you're feeling nice. Nice traditional rum flavor. And this is what we're doing for you guys. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. One of the dudes in the corner store told me to try some Blue Moon. He said that when he goes to the bar, if they don't have a Blue Moon, he leaves. And the only reason why I listened to this dude is because he was in the bodega and he was sitting down. He was sitting down with power. He had his legs crossed and he had on some nice suede Chelsea boots, like a little bit darker than this beige color. It was, I'll say he had brown Chelsea boots on and it was put together well. His facial hair, everything was intact and I liked the way he was speaking to me and I felt like we connected, so I took his advice. Now, um, what you drink says a lot about you when it comes to people that don't know you. You get what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to use this to judge you. You get what I'm saying? But if I don't know you and I need to get to know you in a few seconds, I'm going to look at small details because I'm an artist. I pay attention to small details, and this is the reason why I can draw because I pay attention to the minor details. The minor details is what make things come alive it allows things to come alive if that makes any sense to you i know it does <laughs> i just like how that sounds when it says oh does that make any sense to you i just like how it sounds you get what i'm saying just rock with me you get what i'm saying get what i'm saying get what i'm saying that's another thing i don't know where i picked that up from but we're all creatures of habit and i probably picked it up from someone i admired but i can't remember who Now, um, we got to keep it gangster. You get what I'm saying? And gangster by my definition. Growing up, a gangster to me was my father. My father made some mistakes growing up, but he put family first. However, he put family first. Now, he had a, a very bad temper, and I've seen him get violent on a few occasions that I don't really feel I should talk about because that doesn't define him. What does define him is the situations that defined him were the times that he spent with us in harmony. On Sundays, we went to church and he attended the men's choir. On Saturdays, he would make a big pot of nice Jamaican soup, chicken soup, and he'd have a six-pack of Budweiser in the fridge. 
And even though this may have been a bad habit of his, I'm going to drink this in memory of him on the side with some rub and coke, rum and coke. Mm. The taste of this Budweiser reminds me of when my dad used to kiss me on my cheek. I remember this smell. It's amazing how smells can you can um bring you back to a time that you probably don't even remember on a daily basis. I probably wouldn't even think about my father kissing me on the cheek and the smell of the kisses. But because I have this Budweiser, I can go back in time. So, in a way, smell, the sense to smell. Smelling is like a time machine. Bring you back into time. I'm so thankful to the Lord for making me more confident, making me confident. And um, there's a lot of things that I have overcome. I'm 32. It took 32 years, but I've overcome a lot of insecurities. I'm learning how to be selfless because I was selfish for majority of my life. A lot of us are, and we don't realize, but the art of becoming self-aware will make you self-aware. <laughs> it gives you, it grants you awareness. It lets you see where you're wrong. It lets you see where you're right. It lets you see what you did right the first time so you can continue to do that right the next time. Um, I'm sorry for sounding like a philosopher. I'm just um, speaking to myself. This is just my thoughts running wild. Um, I'm not no teacher. I'm not no preacher. I'm not no perfect human being. Um, I get very angry still, and um, I'm just venting because I think this is a thing. I think that I can go somewhere with this, and by going somewhere with this, I think I can bless other people, and that's all That's all I want to do out of life. I want to, what I want, what do I want? I want to be a great person, and through being this great person, I want to help people that struggled with the same insecurities that I did so I can make their lives easier. I want to be rich so I can provide for others and I can leave a legacy, a strong inheritance from, from my, for my children and the children after them. Inheritance, not even meaning money, but morals, values, principles, and of course, a lot of money. And with the morals, values, with the principles and the knowledge, they're going to continue to build on what I leave for them. So the clock is ticking and never stopped. Baby, baby, don't trip. Pick up your glass so you can get hit. Mm. Thanks for drinking with Joker Josh, and um, I'll see y'all next time. Talk to me.